Hello everyone, I wanted to uh, talk to you about the textbooks that will be used in the class. Uh, the textbooks are listed here in the syllabus on page four. Um, the first one is Scientific Inquiry in Social Work. This is a free open education textbook that can be found online and if you click right here, which um, you know, you'll see the website and Everything that you see in the syllabus that is blue and underlined is a hyperlink. So if you click on it, then it will open up that page where you can find that document, watch a video, or get more information. And so this is the this is one textbook, um, and you have all these different versions that you could get. You could just access it online. You can get a PDF, an ebook, or a hard copy. You can actually buy it. You can pay for it if you do want a hard copy. Um, that's your choice. So if you go to the uh, online version of the class, um, this is the first page. It is a little difficult to navigate, um, but uh, if you click on the read uh, icon and then click on the contents, then you'll be able to see all the different chapters. So if I say in the syllabus read chapter three, I mean read all of these elements here, okay? So it's not just, if you click on chapter introduction, you only see sort of a half page. So you really wanna, you need to go back to the contents and click on the next one in order to get the rest of the information. So be sure that you read the whole thing. Uh, the second textbook is Trosham. That is a similar um, website. I like that website better. Um, you can access the whole thing through uh, Google Drive here. You can also buy a hard copy if you want. But if you click on this and then get to the website, this is the Trosham website. I really like this website because you have this um, you have this sort of table of contents here, so you can click on the different sections. But it also has this button that says Next Topic. Um, and that makes it a little easier to navigate through each. Uh, the one issue with the Trojan book is they don't list chapter numbers, so it just lists the, t the topic or the words. So the chapter is foundations, um, and then it lists a bunch of specifics underneath that. Um, the third book, uh, which can be found for free through what's called Purdue Owl. Um, and so the content is here in the Purdue Owl uh, website, and you really want to look here, APA formatting, 7th edition, and then there's everything that you might need, right? So you could do um, in-text citations. Uh, they also have a, a headings. A lot of times students need to know how to do headings, how to write numbers or statistics, uh, things like that. Um, the, you know, you will definitely need to know APA. Um, and the other thing, too, is there's a whole bunch of different versions of this APA book. If you did decide to buy it or rent it, a hard copy, um, I like the Concise Guide to APA. It also has this nice wire, um, so, you know, wire bound, so it's easier to kind of flip through it. So, um, although you can get away with Purdue Owl, uh, which means that you wouldn't have to pay anything for textbooks in the course. Okay. All right. Thank you for listening. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know.